So getting hurt and running is actually a good thing. Well, not really. I mean, it's never good to hurt yourself. But setbacks in general are good. It all depends on your perception of the, the setback. So getting hurt, you're going to miss training. You're going to lose fitness. You're going to have to delay your goals a little bit. Maybe you'll get cut from a team. Uh, you're going to think that you're not that good anymore. Maybe you're going to think you're not a good runner or you're not meant to be a, a runner in general because you're prone to injury. Um, but that's just one way to take it. You could also take it as uh, the world asking you how bad do you want it. And if you can overcome that injury, you're just going to be more mentally resilient and you're going to be able to push yourself further and you can be more committed into your training in the future and it's going to allow you just to dig even deeper into the ground and push harder and succeed because you've overcome these obstacles so it's really just the attitude of treating things like speed bumps treating things like they're just challenges to see how bad you want something and the reason why I'm even talking about all this stuff is because once again I'm reading from this book and it's talking about one of these athletes, sorry, I should say what the book is. The book is Hell on Two Wheels. It's a uh, book about the race across America cycling, right across America, where they only sleep about an hour, two hours a day, and they just keep going, going, going. And one of the cyclists, he grew up in an abusive family. Uh, his mom abused him all the time. He was in and out, uh, and then she ended up leaving him. Then he was in and out of, uh, you know, like halfway homes growing up never really had anything going on and it says here that along the way he crafted a life a life philosophy centered on what he calls mental fitness so he ended up changing all this stuff into good things now obviously this is much worse than getting running getting an injury and running but it's the same idea so let me just read this to you i could have played the victim after all i was abused adopted and abandoned but instead, I chose not to let my story weigh me down, he explained. Uh, we can always find excuses why not, or, oh, I was adopted, or I was an only child. But we can also turn this thinking around. Because I was adopted, I am stronger and more resilient. It works both ways. So this is the same attitude any winner in athletics always has. He has the ability to take something that seems bad and flip it and make it into something good. So if you're hurt right now, this just treat it as something that's good. It's life throwing you a speed bump to see how bad you want that goal. So rest up, get back at it, and then get stronger and fitter than you ever have been once you heal up again. And that's really good attitude. Don't get don't beat yourself down. Don't, you know, don't think that it wasn't meant to be. Just think that this is just another dip in your life and get back right on top. And when you get back to that, you're going to be mentally tougher than you were in the first place. So that's just my little tip about being injured, about setbacks. Thanks a lot for watching and keep going after those goals.